Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about personal finance and investments. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing GoTrade's newest feature, GoTrade Black. But before going into that, if you've missed my previous video on GoTrade, which allows you to buy US stocks for as little as $1, you can check out my previous videos here. So GoTrade Black is a premium paid feature if you wanted to improve your stock positions or your current buys, especially now that when the market is down, you can avail of GoTrade Black for its monthly subscription of $2. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the features of GoTrade Black. Is GoTrade Black worth your $2 every month? Let's find out. GoTrade Black has four primary features. Number one, GoTrade Black now gives you the option to view stock performance as candlestick graphs. So previously, you can only view linear graphs. And the second premium information that you can get via GoTrade Black would be its earnings per share graph. Number three would be the risk factor that assesses the stock that you're looking at versus the general market as a whole. And number four, most importantly, you also get a section there of what experts say. You actually get inputs, whether the stock that you're looking at is a buy, sell, or hold. Are these features worthwhile and will they really help you? So let's go through them one by one. Now going back to my very first video on GoTrade, where I mentioned that I found its features, especially in terms of graph reading, quite lacking. This is definitely an upgrade. However, I still feel like GoTrade's charts aren't really that much more useful. I'm not gonna claim to be an expert in reading chart patterns, in deciphering trends, and applying strategies into my stock positions. But even with the basic knowledge that I have about candlestick patterns, I think their charts are pretty much cosmetic. First, the screen is just too small. You're not able to deduce any pattern here. Even if you're able to change the view of the chart, you can change it from one day to one week to one month, three months, one year, and even five years. There is actually no label on the x-axis as to what the candlestick is being particular to so that you are able to understand the pattern and movement of the stock. So this upgrade to candlestick graphs, I find pretty useless. I mean, it's still a far cry from what eToro offers. For eToro, even when you're just using the mobile version through their app, the charts there are still pretty exhaustive. You're actually able to use other tools, you're able to customize the moving average, or you're even able to plug in oscillators. And that's just on the app. If you're moving to the desktop version, then it's even more exhaustive. So for me, the upgrade to candlestick graphs is a step towards the right direction but it's a very small one. So let's move on to features 2, 3, and 4. I actually find these three more helpful. The only downside is these three features are only available for the more popular stocks if you are looking for something more obscure and maybe something that's not as popular. Unfortunately, the recommendations and these other data will not be available for select stocks. So let's start with feature number 2, which is the earnings per share graph that's provided. So here you're able to see not just the performance of the stock, but by the actual company if they are delivering on its shareholders. So the dots here represent the plots if the earnings per share are on an uptrend or if they are going through some ups and downs. This is just a snapshot. There are many factors that go into the performance of the company, global, macroeconomic factors, geopolitics, and maybe even a pandemic. <laughs> Understanding the earnings per share of the company that you're looking at would be something helpful if you are approaching your stock buys from a fundamental analysis level. So let's move on to feature number three, which is the risk factor. Let's work with specific examples here. If you are looking to buy McDonald's stock, it's said to be 38% less risky than the general market. If you're looking to invest in Google, Google is said to be 25% more risky than the general market. And for a third example, if you are looking at Tesla, Tesla is said to be 86% more risky than the general market. So what does this all mean? Would it mean that it's better for you to invest in safer stocks rather than riskier ones? as is typical to stock trading and risks in life. Generally, those stocks that are safer in terms of their returns, they may not be as promising. While those that are higher risk, such as Tesla, 
may be quite volatile. The reward for this volatility may be higher returns if you're able to time your exit, but also you could be facing negative returns. So again, as to what you should invest in, that's really up to you. Let's move on to the fourth and most important feature of GoTrade Black, what Wall Street experts are saying about a certain stock. So going back to our example, Google right now has a 100% buy. If you are looking at McDonald's, right now it is an 80% recommendation on buy. And there is a 20% recommendation on just holding the stock. So you see here that the Wall Street experts may not be agreeing with one another. And then for Tesla, the buy recommendation is below 50% at just 44%. Also included here would be the target price and how much the stock can continue to appreciate too. So let's go back to Google. Google is trading in the low 2000s and is set to appreciate a little over $3,100 with the expected rise to be a little over 40%. So this is the target price that Wall Street analysts are looking at in the next coming months or maybe even years. I guess that's a downside even with the target price. There's really no reference on when the target price will be hit. But if we were to go by the expertise of these Wall Street analysts, then hopefully those target prices will be met sooner rather than later. So what's the verdict in GoTrade Black? Will I be continuing my subscription on it? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, if we were to base it on the first criteria of the graphs, for me, that's ultimately useless. But for features 2, 3, and 4, I actually find them useful. But even features 2, 3, and 4 are actually just a snapshot. It's just good that GoTrade Black is giving us a general recommendation. But if you really wanted to dive deep into the stock and understand why it was recommended, then I think ultimately the research is still up to you. Well, full disclosure, GoTrade Black is free for 30 days. My GoTrade Black subscription will end in a few days' time. Will I be availing of the $2 fee after my free trial period? Um, I won't be availing of GoTrade Black right away, but I intend to subscribe to GoTrade Black perhaps a few months down the line. I do find it useful, but I don't think I particularly find it useful to be subscribed to it every month. There are months that I take on a more aggressive stance, such as right now, wherein the stock market has really been down in the last few weeks or even months. So for this month of May, I definitely found GoTrade Black useful. But since I already know the target price, it's not something that I have to keep subscribed to every month. And I guess this really differs based on your investment style as well. The $2 may be quite menial if you're putting in a lot of money. But if the $2 is a large percentage of what you're putting into the stock market monthly, then maybe it's something you could reconsider. I'm going to be subscribed to GoTrade Black maybe a few months here and there, but definitely not something that I have on all the time, such as my Netflix account. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Are you going to try GoTrade Black? Again, the first 30 days are free. Just don't forget to unsubscribe before the 30 days for you not to get charged from your wallet. If you are not yet on GoTrade, you can use my referral code 998839, that's 998839, to get $2 free on the GoTrade app. If you've already tried GoTrade Black, let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys, and happy investing!